Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. Uh, it's going to be our daily inspiration card reading. I just finished the weekly, so if you haven't seen that, go back and watch it. It was super weird. Um, <laughs> maybe I made it weird, but I don't know. Let's see. You just go, you go determine for yourself. But anyway, angelsouls444.com if you want a personal reading. It's important, okay? It's very important. We have lots of energy still happening here towards the end of November. And of course, December is just filled with number frequency things going on. So get your personal reading if you would like to do that. Also join me for my lives. All the links will be in the description. I'm going to have to cram in quite a few here in the beginning of December, but it'll be fun. These, these lives, I love them so much. I never knew I would love going live like that. But um, I think it's here to stay. I love being able to connect with you guys and hear your voices and see your faces. And, you know, it's really, really incredible. So the next one will be tonight, actually. And it's going to be on the angelic self. This is really imperative to tap into, especially at this time. Okay, so let's get a card going here. Yes, there's a dog in the background. I, I don't know what's going on there, but... He's there. Hearing dogs in Colorado Springs is like trying to avoid hearing airplanes when I lived in Queens. It's, just, it's not going to happen. <laughs> right? Close proximity. Okay. All is well. Thank God. Okay. Because the weekly was, whew, it was a lot. Okay. So this is Archangel Jeremiah. Before I even read the card, there's a feeling here of everything's all right. It doesn't seem like it's all right. But... It really is. And these things that are occurring are trying to wake us up. Now, some people are a little more awake than others, carry a little more light than others. Doesn't make them better. But, you know, I mean, it does put you in a predicament sometimes, okay? <laughs> like trying to deal, like you're just trying to be peaceful. You're trying to live your life and someone's being rude and pretentious and obnoxious or in worst cases, like just being psychotic and doing horrible things, God forbid, and the Jeremiah presence here is talking about realizing we all have the power to stop this. And I know there are going to be people in the comments going, oh, well, here's the solution. And it's some like political solution or some perspective on how we all need to be different. It's, it's not quite that. It goes way deeper than that. When we realize where we come from, when we go deep into our soul presence and we let ourselves be recharged there. Remember who you are. When we do that, everything changes around us. That frequency changes. And every time I talk about that, I always see in people a little bit of disbelief. You know, they, they just kind of uh, like, oh yeah, that's a nice thing to say, but does it, does it hold true? So the card says, everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. This is the part that most of us just cannot get our heads around. But, you know, people are going to fight if others keep standing up for bad behavior. They claim they're on the side of kindness and love, but they don't act that way themselves. Uh, people who think that they're on the right path with their beliefs. And yet, look at what their beliefs make them do. It's happening because how else are we going to get it through our heads? Yeah. So we have a choice to make. Most people won't choose. But they'll choose something that's making everything worse. So everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. Now, again, it's not a hidden blessing that we would understand in this timeline necessarily. But perhaps one day when we're away from all of this, we'll understand we were getting in our own way. And things had to be shoved in our face because we weren't learning in a peaceful manner. Now, that doesn't mean the universe is making horrible things happen. We were trusted with divine energy to walk around in these bodies with an ego consciousness on an earth plane existence and third dimensional ego consciousness. And this is what we've done with it. People don't like accountability. So they won't trust that. They won't listen to that. They'll do nothing about it. 
So we have to determine what we as individuals are willing to wake up to, what we're willing to participate in, and how we will carry forward. It is that kind of time to make that decision. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.